redemption from your power. Now bring your awareness to your entire body, all of you, but not just your physical body. Bring your awareness to all of you and breathe into your entire body. Hold it for a second. And as you release, allow your energy body to untangle, to find balance, and to soften to this moment right here, right now. I'm going to open us with a prayer. And as I pray, feel free to honor your own practice. <clears throat> we call upon the winds of the south, great serpent. Thank you for showing us to share our past and our limitations the way you sent to your skin. To the winds of the west, sister jaguar, we call upon thee. Thank you for bringing your medicine and your protection the winds of the north, great hummingbird. Thank you for reminding us to stop and savor the sweet nectar of life. To the winds of the east, evil condor flying high, showing us the path of spirit and that we are of spirit. Source, guardian angels, Archangels, beings of light, love, and service, spirit protectors, spirit guards, ancient shamanic wisdom, Mother Earth, Father Son, Grandfather Fire, Mistress Moon, to our brothers and sisters in the stars, to all those protectors, energies, beings, frequencies, if it is of your free will, we call upon you right now, requesting your presence with open hearts. Oh, yasen.
you can accept all the sensation, emotion, and this moment.
for that which is easy for the things that we want. Acceptance for those we cannot understand and those that cannot understand us. For they too deserve to have their divine journey. They too are a reflection of us. Finally, bring acceptance for those closest to you. Including yourself, including all of you, every part of you, every atom, every electron, every thought, every lifetime, every breath. And now, together, 
Let's send our love, our gratitude, and our acceptance out into the world. Please, just send it out to the world. And once again, as they so, so deeply deserve it, can we send that love, gratitude, and compassion to all those who had big parts in making the art of wellness possible? Yeah. Woo! Thank you all. Thank you all so much. That was absolutely incredible. We have a moment of this too. person that contributed to the Art of Wellness Weekend. This entire weekend of workshops and healings and salt cave readings with Swami and sound healings was almost all donated because every single person that offered a service wanted to create this platform and this space of love and healing and our art, artistic expression of that. So um, thank you to everyone who contributed, who donated, so we can do more programs like this. Money is just an exchange of energy. You put your money into where you want to feel good. And if we're going to invest in anything, it's going to be invest in our soul. That's the only thing we lead with. So invest in your healing, invest in your community, invest in love, and make these donations to the Healing Arts Program so we can provide more healing for community. And I just want to reach out to the team. This is a massive collective team. And I'd like to say thank you to Kat for donating her space at the Salt Cave and Elemental Wellness for supporting everything. I want to thank Michelle Gallo for being part of the planning committee and driving home from Bronx and jumping on the phone at 6 o'clock on every Tuesday to say, all right, I'm here, I'm listening, what do we got going on? And donating your service, thank you. Thank you to Karen Deenan for running all over town all weekend, photographing, capturing all of the heart and the love of what has been created this weekend. I would like to thank Amanda Moore, who has been so beautiful. And as soon as we talked about it, she was like, I am going to invest. Yes, yes, what are we doing? Group meditation on the beach? Yes. She also designed and came up with the idea of the passport, which um, Joanna then collaborated on and created into. It is just so beautiful. I love it. And her and Christina came here. You know, when you're like, oh, how is everything going to happen? And the two magic elves come in and they put everything together and they have this whole beautiful setup with the candle. Yeah. And Christina Nicole. Please stand up, Christina Nicole. You deserve the most big round of applause and appreciation. She's always behind the scenes, but she makes all the magic happen. She is such a driving force. And she looked at both of us in the beginning and thought we were absolutely crazy. She said, there's no way this is going to happen, but if you're going to do all these things in like two months, all right, I'm on board. I'll throw some information your way. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw a connection out there, but no way. And then all of a sudden she was on board and she saw the magic happening and she just drove in. And thank you so much, Christina. Christina, it would just be me and Mindy in this room. <laughs> with you guys, nobody would know what's going on. Thank you to the two beautiful women over here for contributing and being part of the service and offering your store and services. Rhonda, <laughs> thank you, Rhonda, for everything that you have stepped up in your power. Thank you, thank you. Um, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, for flying out from Hawaii, Maui, and coming out because she felt the connection here. She
read the email, she was like, my heart says yes, I'm jumping on a plane. So thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Cody. Cody, too. I didn't even know how that happened. I just said, he's like, I could actually come there. I don't need to do something virtual. I'll just show up. I'm like, awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ben, for doing the sound and keeping that sound amazing. The extra speakers and everything is so beautiful. And thank you, Roger.
beautifully generated, donated that amazing bicycle. All right, who is the winner? Um, Spaji. All right, Spaji, come pick the winner of the bicycle. It's so beautiful. Local cycles. Heather Huntington? Let's start planning the next one.